All right, what's up, DVW fam? Very excited today. We're in Austin right now, one of the meccas for great American barbecue. And yeah, this is my first time in Austin, so I'm really excited. We're at the legendary Terry Black's Barbecue right now, one of the top-rated barbecue spots in Austin. So without further ado, let's go inside and get some beef ribs. The center the end. That one looks really juicy. I'll grab that one. More fatty. Yeah. This is about the slice. Yeah. Any slices would you like? I'll have that. Welcome to Terry Black, yo. <laughs> Alright, y'all know the vibes right here, so this is my Terry Black's plate, my first time here, so had to go all in for the DVW fam, so we got the coveted, famous beef ribs right here, got the fattiest piece, they let us choose at the front and then they weigh it out for us, so I chose the fattiest piece of course, it's just, I've just been watching it this whole time, just drip and drench in all this oil right here, got the fattiest piece of brisket right here sausage link. We're actually in a heat wave, so sitting outside is kind of hot, so we got a frozen Terry Black's margarita right here, so salut guys. Ah, super refreshing, kind of like a black cherry lemonade margarita. Very refreshing. And I got a cornbread for the side, their mac and cheese, some pickles and onions. So without further ado, let's just take our first bite of this ginormous beef rib right here, Flintstone style. Oh my god. That was like biting into a pillow of salty and flavored fat and meat, y'all. That was so tender. I gotta take another bite. Mmm. So satisfying. Alright, let's rip it off the bone right now. To show how tender and soft this beef rib is. Look at that. Rip it clean off. No more meat on the bone. This is the beef rib. That was how tender it is. Look, there's like a fat still glistening on the bone. Ooh. Look at this. Wow. It's not the healthiest getting the fattiest piece, but it is worth it. It has so much flavor. The salt just fusing with all the fats and juices. Oh my god. Mmm. Which is also definitely a lot of protein and meat fibers on this beef rib as well as it's not just purely fat well that beef rib is a hitter so walking in here there was like a bunch of people with their luggages i'm assuming coming straight from the airport just to come to try a bite of this terry black's beef rib and i can see why guys i would definitely travel for this beef rib it's just so savory fatty juicy it's just magnificent mm -hmm. Ooh, so that was a beef rib without the sauce, but definitely gotta try it with the famous Terry Black sauce. So I'm gonna douse this with a little rib with some sauce. Let's see what that sauce do. Mm. Very sweet, thick, mesquite. But yeah, the flavor is coming out of the crust. The bark on this beef rib, guys, it's crazy. It's just super smoky, thick. Mm. Can't neglect this brisket right here. It's just sitting in here soaking up all the love from the beef rib. It's gonna go savage mode with my hands. They offered to cut it up for me, but I'm gonna go savage this time. Mm. Much more fibrous. A lot of lean tissue on here, but it's also just super tender. Fall apart in your mouth. And it's lined with a thin sliver of fat on this one, but it's definitely leaner than the beef rib, of course, and it's just so flavorful. You can see it's just falling apart in my hand. That's how tender it is. So if I had to describe the Terry Black's barbecue in one word, it would just be tender because the beef rib and the brisket just falls apart, but also balanced too. It's like it's not too salty, but it definitely has a good
good flavor on it. We almost don't want to ruin it with sauce, but their sauce is so good. You gotta eat it with the sauce. Mm hmm Fuego. Let's try this uh, big sausage link right here. Mm. Very thick, has a lot of herbs in there, peppery. You smell like a lot of the fragrance. Just a nice thick sausage. Definitely gotta walk back after this walk off. All the fats and oils, guys. Definitely a very heavy meal, and uh, we made sure to come early to make sure we get the meats here because they sell out sometimes. So it's about like 11 a.m. right now. So don't judge me for having a margarita at 11, but it's called the Terry Black's margarita, so we had to get it. All right, let's try these sides right here. So this is the uh, macaroni. Mmm. Very thick macaroni shells. And there's a thick layer of cheese on here. It's not too overly drenched, just, just enough to blanket the huge macaroni shells. Tastes more of the pasta than the cheese. Really goes well with the, all the salty meats that you've been eating. So we are in Texas in the south, so had to get some cornbread. Let's see how what their cornbread do. Wrapped it up for us in ceram to make sure it's fresh. Ooh, look, it just fell apart. So I guess you could say it's flaky. Mmm. It's soft, but has a slight crunch when you bite into it. Thin and crispy on the outside. Soft and buttery on the inside. Mmm. With a slight hint of buttery sweetness. So much flavors to take in. Sensory overload. Saltiness. Savory, fatty. So, gotta cleanse our palate with these pickles and onions. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Salty, sweet. Palate has been cleansed. Time to go to round two and finish the rest of these barbecue items, y'all. Like I said, it's 11 a.m. right now, so this is basically my breakfast brunch. Definitely one of the heaviest breakfasts I've had, guys. All meat. Flintstone style, I'm going full liver king, going full keto with it, with all this meat, y'all. Can't get enough of this beef rib, y'all, so decadent. Mm -hmm. So the beef rib is um, one of the top items to get here, but you can't sleep on this brisket, y'all. Combine it with the sweet Terry Black sauce. Ooh, this is the perfect bite. Mm. I think it was more of the brisket that stole the show here because the beef rib, I expect it to be tender. I've had a lot of good beef rib, but the brisket, ooh, buttery smooth. Ooh. So I got briskets on these front two and sausage in this one. We just got done loading. The briskets went on about 8.15. They're about three hours in. Our total cook time. We're doing 120 total today. We've got two more pits in the back. If you want to take a look, now I've got uh, I'm running the pits about 275 degrees right now. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, so these are all the brisket. So there's 31 in here total. They'll be in there for 12 hours. At about the eight or nine hour mark, we'll wrap them in butcher paper, put them back in, we'll crank the temperature up finish them off like that. It's hot in here. Michael just gave us a tour of the pit and he said that all this wood right here is a week's worth of wood, guys. It's safe to say that they run through barbecue like nothing. Basically about three hours into the cook, we'll take those back two rows out and we'll push these down. The two rows he took out, we'll bring to the front. Sometimes you don't need to do that just because of uh, where they're placed at, but you still want to kind of like strategically move your briskets around that way they're not in the same place to hold cook, you know. But if you do have bigger ones up in the front, you know, you could leave them there and then or that we utilize that bowl back there because those are the hottest part of the cook. Look at all this brisket right here guys. It's like gold. They um, take care of these briskets so nice and tenderly. They give us some TLC. The grill never sleeps guys. They're always rotating me 24-7. So Terry Blacks never sleeps, literally. I just finished at Terry Black's barbecue. It's behind us right now so after all that food, we gotta walk it off. I'm actually staying in downtown Austin, so it's about a 30 minute walk, so really necessary. I'm very full and happy right now, but yeah, Terry Black's was a movie. Great barbecue, some of the best I've ever had. So we're off to a great start on this 
Austin and Texas barbecue tour. So make sure you guys tune in for more installments. Also, this is a cut shirt. I have a discount code DVW10 if you guys want to cop one. It's very airy. It's like 100 degrees in Austin right now. We're in a heat wave, so it's a trade off because I'm walking in this heat, but also burning some calories from that beef rib. But yeah, this shirt actually, I'm kind of clammy right now, kind of sweating, and this shirt is handling it very well. So definitely will recommend cuts so code is dvw10 if you guys want to cop a nice minimalistic air wicking shirt all right y'all see you guys in the next barbecue video please like this video comment down below some recommendations for us and subscribe for more dvw vlogs deuces